Hey crafty friends, Anat Kessler here with Saturday Extravaganza. Thank you very much for joining me. And today I'm going to show you a really fast and easy way to bind a mini album. So I have here two pieces of chipboard, which I, um, I'm recycling from an, uh, an old 12 by 12 package. So it the two squares are six by four and a half. And then I have one strip which is six by one and a half, and another strip which is six by one. So I'm gonna take 12 by 12 pattern paper, just paper, not cardstock, and I'm gonna show you how to create your cover, which you already basically know because we have done it before. So I'm just eyeballing it and cutting. A square that can fit all the three pieces together. I'm using the six by one and a half strip as my spine. You can see the other side of my chipboard. It's by Can Company. That is the chipboard that was under all the 12 by 12 uh, papers in a pack, in a paper pack. So that's a really good way to recycle and reuse some of the things that you don't need. So I'm gluing down the first square and as you can see I'm leaving margins on the side because we're going to fold them once we glue down all the three pieces and as you remember you need to leave a gap between each piece and that will allow the cover to fold if you put the pieces close together with no gap then the paper will tear when you try to fold the cover because basically in physical in physics um, what happens is that the paper expands and you need to leave room for it to expand if you don't leave room it will tear so once you have glued down all three pieces, just fold in all the margins on all four sides. That will teach the paper where to go. It's always best to fold them before you glue them down. And now we're going to cut the corners. Now I don't know if you have seen my other binding videos but you always leave a little tiny bit when you cut the corner you don't cut it very close to the corner of the chipboard you have to leave at least two sixteenths of an inch gap and that will help us create a really professional looking corner when we fold all the paper so I'm gonna start with the top and bottom parts and you can also use double sided tape if you want I'm just using tacky glue and use your bone folder to burnish it really well and make sure there are no air bubbles now for the other side make sure you put enough glue but not too much we don't want it to be wet and for this uh, for covering the cover I'm using paper not a cardstock that's much easier to handle and fold so I recommend using just paper and not cardstock so just a little fold to each direction and now we're gonna create the corners I'm just gonna bring this a little bit closer so you can see so you take your bone folder and you fold in the little piece that you have in there the little corner there you press it with your bone folder inwards and that will create a really professional looking corner when you glue it down you'll see in a minute now you put your glue and you fold that paper and you have a really nice corner covered and everything we'll do the same thing exactly on the other side and 
we basically almost have our cover done just putting the glue on the other side and see how fast that was and look at the corners nice okay so now we need to just add a piece of cardstock for this I'm using cardstock and it's a five and a half by ten and a half piece and I'm just going to glue it down on the front here and that will complete our cover and then once the cover is ready we can go ahead and create our binding mechanism which is really easy and fast so you can create many mini albums with it just center the piece burnish it well with your bone folder and at this point I'm not folding I'm leaving it to dry now our strip of chipboard which is again six by one I'm going to wrap it cover it with paper exactly the same way as I did my cover this is what I have left from the paper I used for the cover So I'm just going to cut around it because that piece is way too big. And cut the corners the same way, leaving two sixteenths of an inch, about two sixteenths of an inch around. Folding all the paper first, teaching it where to go, makes the gluing part much easier when the paper knows where it needs to go and then it stays there because the fold has already stretched the paper and giving it the right angle that it needs to be and the glue just secures it. So don't remember don't forget always remember to fold it first. So again, starting with the long sides first and then using my bowl folder to create my corners, my professional looking corners, exactly as we did with the cover. one side and then we'll do the other side now this is the back of our binding mechanism and now this is dry I can fold it not more than 90 degrees angle now the cover is done this one will go here in the middle but first we need to add our binding mechanism which is twine just pick a color of twine that fits your paper and then just take a few um, a little bit out and then what we're gonna do is take our piece have about 10 inches or 8 inches excess and then start to wrap it around the spine now if you want seven um, papers pages on your mini album then you do seven times if you want 10 10 times etc you cut it and then we will tie it together I'm just gonna put something heavy on it so it won't move while I'm tying it together so now we have two edges I'm gonna cross them 
and then take one edge of the twine under all the twines just under there just gonna lift it with my bone folder and just take it under there and now we can tie it together tie the two edges together in a double knot make sure that they're tight but not too tight and cut off the excess and our binding mechanism is ready wasn't that fast and really easy I'm just arranging them in spacing them more or less so they'll be even even spaces between the twines and now I'm just gonna glue that down to my cover and I'm going to use um, 3D foam tape because the knot of the twine gives me a little bit of height so I can't use regular glue and keep it straight so I need to compensate for that little height that the knot created so I'm gonna use the 3D foam tape and I'm gonna make it a little bit stronger by also applying some tacky glue because sometimes the 3D foam tape is not really very strong and we need it to be strong because it is a binding for a mini album so I'm just adding a little bit of glue and gluing down the foam tape on the glue on both sides of the spine and now I can glue it down to my cover again with a little extra help from the tacky glue which will make it stronger just a little bit more glue two types of glue is always better than one right so I'm centering this on the top and on the sides and now I can add my pages you can use just paper cardstock but I'm gonna use envelope envelopes I'm using um, five by seven and a half size envelopes and of course it depends on what kind of uh, how big is your cover and that will depend on the size of envelopes you need to use so I'm gonna fold them in half how many do I have here seven or six I'm gonna fold them in half seven I have and then another one and I don't want all the pages to be in the same size so some of them I'm not gonna fold in half but I'm just gonna fold it on just up to the flap that I have there on my envelope so that's like folding them two-thirds of a way and not in half so this will give me different sizes of pages so I'm going to do half, three envelopes, sorry, four envelopes in half and three envelopes in two-thirds. So it will be interesting. So I'm just folding them. And then I will need to create my pockets because one side is already open. Obviously, it's an envelope with a nice flap that is already there. But the other side is closed. So what I'm going to do is open it with a border punch. So that will serve two purposes. One is opening the envelope and creating a pocket. If I can only open it, there we go. And the other is that it's going to have a really nice edge to it. So border punches can be really cool, right? So I'm going to do two envelopes with this border punch and then I'm going to change to another border punch 
and do another two you have to open all the the sides of all the envelope unless of course you want it to be just a regular plain page without a pocket but if you have an envelope you might as well have pockets right otherwise you can just use plain cardstock this is also a really cool way of creating a mini album with fabric pages because it's going to be very easy to add fabric or canvas or any type of uh, softer felt even softer material to the mini album the last two I'm just gonna create a straight line cutting about quarter of an inch or even less just creating an opening and now I have my pages ready and I can bind them now see how easy that is you just sorry I'm out of frame here you just insert the envelope under the twine and the twine holds it in place and you have a page it's actually two pages because it's folded so now you can see what I meant when I said it's going to be good and perfect for fabric as well because it's gonna hold it perfectly and felt and canvas and whatever and you can do mixed mini albums and also the great thing about it is they can change the order of the pages because you can it's not permanent you can take them out and insert them back in again and change the order as many times as you want isn't that really cool so this is my mini album of course now it's time to add all the tags and decorate it and add photos and embellishments and everything that we love about mini albums so look how many pages I have I love this this is cool so you can play around with it and have a lot of fun I know I did it's a really fast and great way to create a mini album I hope you liked it I hope you were inspired to create one of your own you can play with the sizes of the mini album and use different size of envelopes and create bigger covers or smaller covers and just play around with the materials that you use for your pages so if you like the video just hit that subscribe button like and comment tell me how you liked it and I want to thank everyone for joining me. Please check out my website, anatkessler.com. You'll find um, freebies. You'll find classes and workshops there, printables, all kinds of information about frugal crafting and organization tips. And so thank you again for joining me. And I'll see you all next time.